Yo, welcome back to another video. Today I'm showing you how to make animated gaming captions like Mr. Beast for all of your YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram Reel videos. Let's get started. First, you wanna open up Adobe Premiere and make sure it's fully updated. This will only work on the latest version of Premiere Pro 2023. Then you're gonna to wanna to create a new project. So file new project. I already have mine created, so I'm good. And then you wanna create a new sequence. So to create a new sequence, you just go file, new sequence. I'm creating a vertical for YouTube Shorts or TikTok. So I'm gonna create a vertical one. If you don't have a custom uh, preset, you can just go over here to settings, create your own, and then save a preset. So once you're in your timeline, in order to make captions, you're gonna need audio. So I just imported a little bit of audio from a product I was just working on. If you need to record audio, you hit this little microphone here. The microphone will only record within your in and out points if you have it set. So just make sure it's set to long enough. Now that you have your audio in, we need to create the text. So we're gonna go up to the text window. If you don't have the text window, you can go up to the window option and then go down to text. Text will appear uh, somewhere in your workspace. Then we're gonna click the big blue button that says create transcription. I have all of my audio on the same track which is track number two. So I'm gonna select track number two. And if you only wanna do a portion of your video, you can select transcribe into out points only. For this, I'm just gonna do the whole project. Then you're gonna click transcribe. And now you can see taking my voice and turned it into text. It's not a caption yet. We still have to make any adjustments we need. So you, you wanna make sure you go through and you fix all of your spelling errors or anything that you need to adjust in this window under transcript. Once you're in a place that you like it, all you have to do is click the CC, which is create captions, and then click the little drop down menu here. Now here's where you're gonna change how fast your captions look. Now I like my captions to be very quick. Uh, I like the one or two words. Uh, so I'm gonna take my maximum length in characters. I'm gonna drag that all the way down uh, to somewhere between 10 and 15. And then the minimum duration in seconds, I'm gonna take that all the way down uh, to 1.2 and then lines i only want one line of text i'm going to click single line there and then all you do is click create captions now you'll see a new area in your timeline called subtitle this is where the it just took our voice turned it into text and then created captions from it so if you scroll through here you can see at the very bottom of your screen uh, you have what you're saying now that's not an ideal location for everything because that's where like the description uh, and tags will be in a lot of videos, uh, but we're gonna change that. So we really wanna edit the text. So we're gonna get it out of the subtitle bin. Now, if you're not using Premiere Pro 2023, this will not work. This only works in the latest version of Premiere Pro. So we're gonna highlight all of our text, select it all. We're gonna go up to graphics and titles and we're gonna click upgrade caption to graphic. Now you're gonna see the subtitle text is gone and now they're in our project as a regular graphic file, which is awesome because that's how we adjust and change and automate everything else. So we're just gonna go select our first clip and now we're gonna stylize it. You're gonna highlight it, go to essential graphics, highlight your text, then you can double click it. You can change the font to whatever you like. Uh, I'm going to pick this font here, and then you can make it as large as you want or as small as you want. I line mine in the center here. You can make it, stylize it however you want. I do add a little bit of a drop shadow. This will help uh, if it's on a white background or a light background. In order to get it to automate it across all of your text, we're gonna go up to styles. Right where it says none, we're gonna click none and we're gonna click create a style. Now we can name this whatever we want. I'm gonna name mine captions too. I already have a captions uh, file in there. Now you'll see in your project window, you'll have your captions file that you just created. So this is, I named mine captions too. Uh, so now we're gonna click and drag that over everything. And now you'll see when you uh, listen to your text, all of the text now is this new style that we just created. We have to still animate it and adjust it where we want it on the screen. For a lot of people, this is good enough. And all you have to do to move it around on your screen is take that first text, Go up to effects control and under the video motion tab, just move that around to wherever you want it. So if you want it in the middle, drag it to the middle. And all you can do is copy this. You're gonna paste that attribute. Make sure just video motion is selected. You don't want anything else. Click okay. Now when you listen to it, it's all gonna be right in the middle. 
For a lot of people, that's good enough and you're good. But if you truly want to level it up, we can animate this in only a few more seconds. I'm going to undo the location of the text. I'm going to leave that down at the bottom. I'm going to highlight our very first one again. We're going to go up to effects and we're going to look for transform. And here it is under video disort transform. We're going to click and drag that down. Now go back to effects control. We're going to do a few things here. Under the shutter angle, we want this to be 360, between 180 and 360. This is gonna mimic kind of a motion blur look. And now we wanna select scale. And we're gonna create three different keyframes. So we're gonna select the first one, we're gonna make add zero, and we're gonna go five frames forward. Two, three, four, five. Create another one at 115. And then go another three, one, two, three, and we're gonna create this at 100. This is gonna give us that kind of pop in look. Uh, now we just need to select the anchor point, and we just want that anchor point to be right. It's kind of hard to see on this one, but there's a little blue dot in the middle of the screen. That's where you want to align the text. Now when we watch it you can see it just appears right in and i normally shorten it so that keyframe is off so it's already starting when the video plays um, so to do that you just shorten the clip a frame or two that's why we do five then it's only four and three uh, it gives it a really nice really nice look uh it's very fast right it, it happens really fast but that's that's good now once you have it to the point where you like it, you're gonna right click on transform, save as a preset, and you're going to save this preset, name it something. I already have mine done. Uh, so then all you do is you go up to your effects controls under presets. I have this cool text animation, 2023, and I, you can click and drag that over everything. Now, if you want your text in the middle, you're basically done. But if you want your text at the top and the bottom, just like before, uh, we're going to go up to effects control, uh, select your first clip. Make sure you're not doing it in vector motion under graphics or transform. We're going to close both of those. We want the video motion. So we're going to go to video and we're going to go to motion and we're going to click and drag that wherever you want it. So some of my videos I like at the top. It's depending on what's happening in the center of the video, uh, but I'm going to click out of there and copy that again. And then I'm going to paste that. Now you wanna make sure that you're not clicking any other boxes. The only attributes we want to paste are, are the video ones. So the video motion tab, which we have selected here. Click okay. And now all of the text is at the very top, exactly where we want it. Now in only a few minutes, we went from no text to a process that's almost fully automated. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit that like button. It really does help a ton. I'll be posting a ton more content around gaming and content creation. So if you like this type of content, make sure to follow for more. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.